Hi, my name is Kate Smith and I'm originally from Dublin and I've lived in Canada for five years now, just waiting on that citizenship to come through. Um, I have only lived in Vancouver for about a year and a half of that though, as originally I lived in Toronto. People always ask me, what do you prefer, Toronto, Vancouver? And I'm always saying that it's hard to compare the two, that it's definitely down to your personal lifestyle preference. Um, I always wanted to do that big North American city thing and I loved it while I did it but after a few years I was like okay time to try something new. So um, I had been out here in Vancouver a couple of times for work so eventually decided to make the move out here. Um, when I lived in Toronto I worked for Tourism Ireland so naturally with work I was very involved in the Irish community there. So when I came out here I found that piece missing like um, my whole life abroad had me involved in the Irish community so um, my first step when I came here was originally to get involved with Darkness and Light Vancouver as I was involved with um, the Toronto initiative back there and um, mental health is a cause that is close to my heart as I myself suffer from mental health issues so I'm constantly just trying to shout from the rooftops to get people to, to talk about it and to normalize it so that was my first step. Um, then I set up the Facebook page Irish in Vancouver meetups because when I first moved here I definitely found it hard to meet people which was surprising and um, so monthly I try to put little events on and um, a lot of the times it tends to just be drinks in Donlands and um, but during the summer especially I try to do different like walks and beach gatherings and different hikes so um, that was what I set up then. And then I got involved during COVID with the Irish um, COVID support group. Um, that to me was a no brainer because I guess we were all a bit shell shocked and uncertain about what was happening and I wanted to just help where I could. So the Irish Women's Network along with the Irish Consulate um, gathered some members of some of the Irish community groups together and set this up. So we were having, originally it was daily calls and um, when everything was so fast changing at the beginning and um, and then it went down to three times a week and now it's twice a week so um i am part of the communications team there so we are we have the the overall network of irish in bc we have the social media channels as well as the newsletter so i am um, help oversee the content side of things there so the reason why we set up irish in bc i suppose was to have this one contact point that people could go to for information and all of the irish community groups including the consulate, could all feed their information into there. So whether it is just local Irish organisations and events that they might be running, whether it is the Irish businesses that you can help support in the area, whether it is flight information or immigration information, we just wanted to make it easier with everything that was happening during the pandemic to have that one point of contact that people could refer to and know that it was reliable information. So. That is why we set it up and uh, personally I got involved because I just wanted to try and help people as it's really hard to be away from home during this not knowing where we're going to get home again and, and see families and there's so many people that are stressed about work and their mental health and there's just so many things going on that I thought it was a good thing to get involved with. So that is why I got involved in the Irish Covid support group. And next I'm going to nominate another one of the committee members to tell us their story and that is Blahin Noon. Thanks.